it goes in your it goes in your review bin. Review bin, uh, which is refill request. And the nice thing with SureScripts is SureScripts allows you to respond, and uh, and it will. So with SureScripts, it comes in as a message request for a tenolol. You click accept. How many refills you want? That will electronically send that prescription back to the pharmacy without you printing it out, having your MA fax it in, and it already updates the medicine list for you. And so it's a sweet system. I mean, it really takes a lot of the time and your staff needs. And that's one of the things that uh, what the doctor before us mentioned that you know, patients are going to you know, require having access to this stuff. We actually use something called WebView, which enables our patients to remotely and securely log on to their health record. And they see a skeleton version. But essentially, we've given them access to every part of the chart. W the only part that we don't let our patients see is the consultant notes, because we don't feel, feel like it's our uh, right to really give them access to that data without their permission. But our patients can log on at any time, see whatever their medicine list, when their last cholesterol. It really takes away of those messages of, when was my last tetanus shot? They just go on and they see themselves. And they, they can message us directly as physicians. And our staff, staff needs have really cut back because a lot of the things that really doesn't require uh, you know, our staff to be involved in, they're out of the mix. And so uh, I, I think the time is now already for patients having that ability and that access, and it's been great for our office. When I walk in the, in the morning, this has a bunch of patients on it. We, we have a fake doctor up here, so we don't have any HIPAA violations by showing our schedule. So, um, so I have a bunch of patients listed here and their times and their reasons and all that stuff. And I, my lab review bin is usually full because they turn on what we call the bridge with request early in the morning before we come in. And so I have, and the note review bin is partly lab and partly um, what's, what the faxes that come in go to my note review bin. So anything that comes by fax goes here. It's consultants, letters, some kinds of CTs and x-rays go there. Um, and so I know what I have to do today. Um, and, uh, and then any messages that might, that, by, that we were going to do messages, I don't think we have time to do all this stuff, but they take off the messages with headsets, which is very important. They type, there's no writing that goes on in our office. Um, and they type them right into the computer, and they, my messages come right in my message bin, and I reply back to my medical assistant. You know, sometimes we don't even talk all day long. You know, I order things in the room. You know, when I'm in the room, I, I press, the, 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 I order all my orders. When then the, they go in, in my medical assistant's to-do bin, she does them while I'm in the room. The patient sometimes she sticks them to the door. They call it we call it door mail. You know, she'll, if some things we have to write on paper. Like there's one radiology facility requires their particular X-ray form, so she'll stick that form in. You know, with our practice partner order on top of it um, or anything else that she needs. You know, so the patient's ready to go when I'm done. You know, there's no waiting, giving the orders to the medical assistant, waiting for her to do them, then discharge a patient. They're done when I'm done. The incoming faxes, we use our um, digital copier to make the faxes come in and they're uh, what's called, they go into a, a bin and then there's a, there's a um, program called Zoom which is part of Practice Partner and the girls will look at the fax and they zoom it into the right doctor's review bin. It's very quick, you know, at first we look, oh my gosh, nobody can do this, you know. One of those things where you go, I don't know how this can be done and once it's done, nobody remembers going to the fax machine and pulling all those things off, getting the faxes, going to the chart, get the chart, put the chart on the doctor's desk, this is much faster, they open it up, oh this is, this is this patient, and this is this doctor, and it goes, and also they put it into the right uh, place. So after we review it, it goes into the right message tab. It goes into the right tab of the chart. It marks off things in healthcare maintenance. If it's a mammogram, it marks off that they had their mammogram done. If it's a colonoscopy report, it marks off that they had their colonoscopy done. So all of that is done with just one zooming it in. And again, the, the power, all that behind the scenes stuff is so that when that patient comes in for their well woman exam in two months, it's going to say mammogram done. 10 9 2009 colonoscopy done 10 1 2006 you don't have to thumb through the chart anymore it's right in front of you and so that's the power as you start once you've been on EHR about 6 months to a year you're opening your notes and those data points that you used to try to scan you know rummage all over for are right in front of your eyes the money part is that we had one of the doctors that had left us was only part time we brought in a full time doctor and by the way he came on board the very first day using Practice Partner. He had done, all he did was go to their website and he did some practice stuff and then he came and worked with us a couple days and he was full on ready when he came on board. You know, there was just no training really needed. Because um, the templates, it's so easy for a new person that had no knowledge of the system, the templates will guide you right along and the other areas of the chart. Mm -hmm. Again, it was, it was just so, uh, we, so you can see what we did. We went from a whole bunch of people to um, almost no people. And most we did it by attrition. 
Um, we did have one person who we let go, our medical records clerk actually finally fell by the wayside. She was not uh, IT savvy enough to really keep up with us, even though we did lots of training. Um, and um, so we're actually now seeing about 30 patients a day. Um, we just, we just keep on, we change our scheduling a little bit. Um, we now work out of two rooms instead of three because we're just faster and more efficient. Uh, and um, so we schedule everybody in 15 minutes no matter what their problem is um, and just hope that I didn't, that what happened to me, seven Medicare patients in a row the other day, that was not fun. But <laughs> <laughs> and I got a little behind. But that usually doesn't happen. So, um, and so we're now seeing almost 30 patients a day. So, um, and we didn't even uh, include in our return on investment the increased income from increased patients and those sorts of things. But we've already made, you know, we're already a little bit ahead. We've paid for our equipment already and our costs were high. We didn't have any hospital um, you guys helping are lucky. us. <laughs> and and we, 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 replaced, we started, we bought all new hardware for our office. So we, start, we replaced everything. We had green terminals and some other old things. And so we have, we bought the laptops, we bought PCs and mo big monitors for the girls so they could, you know, have room to put their Sonorquest thing over here and practice partner over here and be very efficient um, in their headsets, which they all wear. So they answer the phone wherever they are. Um, and um, so we had a high cost, you know, for our hardware as well. And we had anybody helping us, but already we've paid for it and we're making more money on it um, um, for a variety of reasons. 